Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm hopping back in to the three minute pool. I must have had a really, really bad day yesterday because uh, I'm all the way back down to about 2300. Let's see if we can get that going up in the right direction. Playing against the London? Give it to me! I've won so many bishops like this. Oh, we're still playing? Okay, that's fair enough. Nobody ever believes that I have the skills. And this is how you easily win a bishop with this one devious trap. <laughs> I've won so many queens with this. It's always it's always so fun. Uh, but now, the, the real test of chess skill is the ability to win a game of chess while up an entire piece. Uh, and it is a blitz game, so I will try to play quickly. I'm scared. It's only one piece. All right, let's just, uh, just mindlessly chuck pawns at this guy. I feel like I won, the, mentally I won the, the war and now I've, I've lost concentration. How am I supposed to concentrate? All right, I've, I, since I've begun focusing again, my power levels have increased, wow. Didn't really expect that one. <laughs> All right, cool. Look at this king. Oh, I could have just taken here. I should have stayed a little bit more focused. Is that a problem? Why did he do this? That's not a problem. All right. You know how like when you're, you just, you do the thing. Yes, we got the trap. And then that's when like everybody resigns. That's when sometimes the brain shuts off. This is how opponents get back into the game. You know, you can't let the opponents back into the game. Because good players will just get back in, you know? It's time to increase the levels of concentration, not decrease them. I'm just telling myself because I'm actually like very, very tired. It's, been, it's, it's kind of a long summer. And I'm only up seven points of material. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm gonna be able to make this work here. You know what, well played. All right. No, that's a really bad move. Taking that rook is a very bad idea. Let's attack the other rook from really, really, really far away. This is a great move. Because it's not so easy to defend either one. Because if either rook comes here, that's what my knight is there for. So this is it, just constant, oh no, wait. <laughs> what has happened? So I'm attacking two of his rooks. We're getting sloppy though. We're getting sloppy. We gotta we gotta have a little bit less slop. All right, so I'm still on the other rook. My queen will come in decisively any moment now. Or I'm gonna just trade as hard as possible. And we should be able, <laughs> we should be able to somehow win this game of chess. Remove a defender, please. Come on. That doesn't force the resignation. You can't take that with your rook. I'm sorry to it. Now this will force resignation. Go ahead, go here. I don't take the rook right away. Now this is gonna get this guy, no. Okay, now you're gonna be losing, the you're, you're playing for the stalemate. Okay, I understand. I know, I know a guy named Eric Rosen. I've seen somebody play for stalemate before, okay? It's not the first, it's not my first stalemate rodeo. You're not gonna take it, you're bluffing. You're not gonna take the rook. I knew it, you're bluffing. <laughs> All right, let's try to set up the mating net. It has been set. He opened up the door for me, I get in the door and that's how you easily beat the London. With this one really interesting trap, and I've done this, I mean, 20 plus times. I've, I've gotten this so, so many times. I actually wanna go to a player's database, look at me as black, cause uh, my stats on this thing, and this is this C6 London. You play queen to B6. Looks like it scores pretty well for me if you use the John the Tron's database. About half of my opponents do play here. I play knight to h5, and bishop to g5 is actually the most seen thing, and I've won 96% of the time. 
then my opponents have handed me a free bishop. Because now you play queen to a5, you take the bishop, and you do a little bit of technique, you easily win the game. So if you do like little traps like this, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, because this one's a really cool one. You can use it to defeat the London. See you guys later.